Hi everybody, welcome back to my tiny small channel on YouTube. My name is Bianca Bruce. I'm a business coach and strategist. Today we're again in my office. Behind the camera is my associate producer, Stephanie Nicole, and you'll be hearing and maybe even seeing my executive assistant, Bo Blue Barrington, who is a golden doodle and my favorite puppy in the whole wide world. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about the theme that we are tackling um, here on YouTube, internally, in, in inside the brand, uh, and on several uh, platforms with uh, group coaching, um, as well as one-on-one -on -one clients. And that is a concept that has actually come from one of my very favorite clients. And I have to tell you that every person I get to work with, I say that is one of my very favorite clients because I really love the people I work with and I'm very fortunate to be able to do the work that I do. Um, it's a way of exercising my strengths and really expressing my values, um, not just in business, but also personally. Anyway, uh, this uh, wonderful client is someone that uh, I have come to um, love and respect for the work that they do. Um, in my work, there's a high value of confidentiality, so I'm going to uh, keep the, the name to myself, but I want to tell you that in the process of working with uh, clients locally, especially um, after the fires, we have all been impacted so dramatically and so unexpectedly and so um, differently um, by these fires that have just swept through our counties and in Northern California. Um, again, every single person is affected, some um, much more dramatically and, and catastrophically than others. But we are a community and we are affected. And wherever you are watching and are connecting with, uh, with me, you too are in a community um, in small ways and in large ways. And so uh, this uh, month, I wanted to broaden the idea of stepping into the light. And this came again from a client who uh, unfortunately did lose everything and through that process um, had to rebrand a bit and had to rethink a bit uh, what it is that they're going to be doing and how it is they're going to be expressing their value proposition. And stepping into the light became a metaphor for them. Um, and it was such a powerful metaphor that I want to expand on that for us as well. In order to step into the light, uh, you really got to know who who you are and the values that you stand for. What is it that you are about? How is it that you want to express yourself in this world? How are circumstances impacting your perspective? And who else is around you? Because stepping into the light, uh, while it may sound like a very wonderfully um, serving to yourself and beautiful uh, thing to happen to you. When you're in the light, you're also visible. You can be seen and everyone around you can see you. So how you step into the light, um, how you present yourself in there uh, as you stand in there is pivotal. Um, this conversation came also with the question of confidence. How do I do that confidently? And in coaching, one of the tools that I use is um, a, a tool called Strength Finder. And through Strength Finder and the process of coaching through uh, your strength, one of the things that we look at is confident authenticity or confident vu vulnerability. And, and in that system, we believe, and in that module, that coaching model, what we believe is that as each one of us exercises our strength and our skills and our tools uh, confidently and authentically, we show up um, more fully as who we are created to be, as who we are meant to be in our purpose. You will have probably and hopefully um, listened to the couple of videos that we did on video on videos on purpose. And so with the with the purpose conversation comes confidence and authenticity. And so I want you to remember that when you step into the light, you are meant to do that confidently and authentically. That means that you can bring with you some of your idiosyncrasies, even some of your insecurities, some of your questions. You can bring with you some of the things that you are not entirely sure about. Confidence is not 
necessarily certainty. It is an ability to show up with what you've got and who you are and a willingness to be with others and to show others your confident and authentic self. So in stepping into the light and that theme of light, uh, particularly in December, when many of us will be lighting candles or we will be lighting lights on a tree or around a chimney or we will be lighting fires to um, roast marshmallows, we will be coming together as a family and as a community particularly in this in this time of year as we are thinking ahead for the next year and as we are reflecting on the year um, that has passed or is passing we want to be um, really sensitive and uh, kind to ourselves and we want to be practicing a, a whole ton of gratitude not just for who we are and what we've been through but also our community so in thinking about that, the word that comes up is light and unity. Uh, and in unity, just like in um, confident authenticity, you are not me meant to necessarily unite with people you fully agree with. Uh, and we will be talking more about that as well. That unity in our community, in our communities, is that um, idea of different parts relating to one another. I made myself a note here, so I remember to say that correctly. Different parts relating to one another and connected to your values. You can be confident in your differences and you can be open-minded in listening. After a tra terrible tragedy, after a loss, after any circumstances that are impacting your value proposition, it is incredibly important to look at your values again and to appreciate the differences in one another, but also to step into the light and to bring others into that, um, others who are not like you and to learn from one another and appreciate one another for who we are. So I hope that if you are, are if this is resonating with you on any level, that you would uh, follow this channel, of course, leave a comment, question, thoughts, ideas. This for us, for me, is a way of really just reaching out and, and talking to you. Um, it is going to be a learning curve and a learning experience. I'm so grateful that you're coming along with me um, as we're doing this because we have learned from these few videos we have done this year we are planning to do different things and fun things in 2018 and just really taking you alongside our learning curve and my learning curve that's part of confident authenticity so i'm looking forward to that if you have questions thoughts ideas pushback please comment below share the video let me know what you think and i hope to see you soon bye